na baba wa taifa na kwa sababu mimi niko kanisa ya nyumbani eh, ningeomba eh, naona mtu ameweka hapo mbele ninaendelea eh, ah nafikiri tuta, tutaimba hiyo wimbo who is going to go, to be the soloist for that song mimi nili eh, wakati eh, ndugu Munyambo alikuwa anahubiri eh, nilikuwa naambia hawa wangwana kwamba hii ndio kanisa ya nyumbani mimi nilikuwa kati ya wale walioshiriki kanisa hii karibu eh, miaka almost what now 20 something in 1992 93 ndio tulikuwa hapa tukianzisha hii kanisa na wakati eh, pastor Munyambo alikuwa na ubiri nilikuwa na ringa sana kwa hawa watu naambia <laughs> hivi ndivyo mambo uwanga huku kwetu <laughs> so let us sing mbele ina Endelea nina sidi kutembea maombi u yasikie e bwana u ni pa kakamwe hapo wengi wanaka uendele yana Shetani na tazami ya mbinguni Itafika kwa imani E buwana u ninuwe Kwa imani nisima kani pandishwe ju zaidi ya ema wingu nitaomba nifikishwe e bwana u ni pa
Asanteni sana. <clears throat> Tafadhali tuketi. Kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu sana kwa kutupatia nafasi. Asa mimi nilie eh, sija kuja hapa kwa muda mrefu. Nika Mungu akanichochea jana. Kaniambia lazima urudi kanisani milimani. Uh, mke wangu eh, mama Recho alikuwa ameniuliza twende kanisa kule um, mar, eh, kule Mogotio lakini eh, Mungu alinichochea sana nikuje hapa kanisani na nimeona kulikuwa na sababu kwa sababu um, yale mahubiri tumepata hapa siku ya leo vile Daudi pale nyuma alikabiliana na simba alafu akakabiliana na mbweha ama ni e, bea nyumbu kama ingekuwa kawaida angekuwa baada ya kukabiliana na simba angekuwa na furai ya kwamba amemaliza kazi lakini kumbe kulikuwa bado kolia ako mbele anamgojea so mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametuhakikishia ya kwamba vile tulifaulu wakati huo mwingine na hata hapa mbele hapa kwa Goliath hapa mbele Mungu pia atatupatia ushindi na ndio nataka niseme bila kusita niwaambie ndugu zangu wa Kenya pale tumekuwa na changamoto na tumekuwa ni taifa ambayo inamcha Mungu na katika kumcha Mungu Mungu ametutoa katika hatua moja akatufikisha hatua ingine na hata hapa mbele mahali tunaona kuna changamoto pia na Mungu atatuonekania na hata hiyo kiwango ingine Mungu atatufikisha I have no doubt in my mind that God is going to give us victory even in the challenges that we have as a nation the same way he has lifted us from one stage to another i am confident that god is going to lift us even to the next level as a nation nataka pia niseme kwa sababu hata kanisani kuna changamoto wa Kenya wengi wa Kristo wanajiuliza maswali kuliendaje kulifanyika nini pale kanisani mpaka leo tuko na makaburi wananchi wengi wamepita sasa wananchi mbili wamepoteza maisha yao katika mahali ambapo mambo ya Mungu yalikuwa yanazungumziwa nataka niambie kanisa la taifa letu la Kenya hata hii changamoto na hii wingu ya giza Mungu atatusaidia tutainuka na tutaenda hapo mahali pengine tena and as a government we have taken the decision that we are going to deal with the individuals that abuse the sanctity of faith and the word of god in a manner that we deal with all the other criminals because we do not want anayota of blame on the church we do not want 
any blot to be on the church because of the activities of a few people. We know, like the way Daniel says, in Daniel 11.32, that they who know their God, they will be strong and they will do exploits. I want to tell the church that because we know the God we believe in, we should be strong, even in the face of Shakahola, even in the face of the current situation that is raising more questions than answers. And I want to assure you that the government of Kenya is going to get to the bottom of what really happened. Give us a little time. Our security agencies are working round the clock so that we can unravel these acts that ashame the people who want to abuse the sanctity of religion. And cause loss of life in the Republic of Kenya. So um, at the same time, we're going to work together with the church. We're going to work together with the religious organizations so that we prevent anything like this from ever happening again in the Republic of Kenya. I want to ask our religious leaders. I want to ask our religious um, uh, fraternity that we work together towards formulating what our religious leaders and institution will give us as the benchmark how we avoid situations where individuals abuse religion to extort from people and to even destroy lives of people. We have to be sensitive and I am confident that our religious leaders will give us the guidance on how we are going to make sure that true religion, believe in God, our faith, our commitment to scripture is not taken advantage of by a few people who have aims that are not very legitimate. So, nawauliza tuombe inchi yetu na amini ya kwamba kwa sababu uchaguzi uliopita ulikuwa ni uchaguzi ambao watu walikuwa wanachagua kati ya wale wanaomcha Mungu na wale wengine wanaendesha mambo namna hiyo so shetani amekasirika akakuja akaingiza mambo ya Mungu kwa mambo ya mauaji lakini vile alishindwa na shetani ataendelea kushindwa i am very confident that we are going to move forward uh, together Nimefurahi sana eh, kufika hapa kanisani eh, siku ya leo asanteni sana kwa ile kazi mmefanya Thank you also for the church for the AIC church for uh, agreeing that uh, I now belong to all the churches in fact I come to AIC very uh, not very often Sasa mimi ni mtu ya Catholic church SEK, PCA, what ya Corino, sio gani? Wale watu wote. Na Mungu amenipatia nafasi pia eh, nipate kujua. Unajua nilikuwa hapo kwa AIC siku jua ati kuna kanisa ingine ina, ina tunaweza kwenda mbinguni pamoja. So now I have a greater understanding that hii mbinguni tutaenda na Wakristo wengine kutoka madhehebu zingine. Asanteni sana kwa kuelewa ya kwamba 
ni vizuri tuhamazishe na tufanye kazi na wakenya wengine lakini nimefurahi tena zaidi i'm very proud to be a member of this church i'm really very proud kwanza leo nilikuwa na ringa sana kwa na kwa nilikuwa naambia hawa hivi ndio mambo uanga hapa ya IC sasa mtakuwa mnakuja huku kwetu so nimeshukuru sana thank you very much for making us proud uh, pastor um, uh, nimesikia ya kwamba mnapanga mambo yenu ya viti hapa so tutapangana na hawa waheshimiwa to see uh, ndio tujipange pia so, uh, uh, pastor mairori tutanunua viti 300 tuleta so apanga in the course of this week tutagawana na hawa dos kila mtu kidogo kidogo alafu tutatumana viti 300 but siku nyingine tukikuja tutakuja kusukuma kutoka mahali hapo so otherwise na wapenda sana na watakia baraka eh, ya Mungu katika mipango yenu mzidi kuombea taifa letu la Kenya naomba msaada wenu wa maombi katika majukumu ambayo niko nayo na viongozi wote katika serikali ya Kenya bunge la Kenya mahakama zetu na sehemu zile zingine zote ili Mungu atujalie tutekeleze mapenzi ya Mungu katika taifa letu la Kenya. So asanteni sana kwa kutupokea hapa kanisani. Tunawapenda sana na naamini ya kwamba sasa kwa sababu mimi nimekuja nime hapa karibu mara kwa mara nitakuwa nakuja hapa kanisani. God bless you. Asanteni.